In the previous video, we talked about if we don't have a credit, it's hard to get a loan, credit card, or even an apartment. That's why it's important to build up a healthy credit history and a good credit score. Building credit can be challenging. How can we show a history of responsible repayment if no one will give you credit in the first place? Want to know the best tools and practices which could help you? Come on, follow me and make sure you watch the rest of the video. What's up guys, this is Melisandra. Welcome to my channel. Here we talk about everything related to, to finance, personal development, traveling, career, employment. Let's explore together and learn something new every day. If you like my channel, please click the subscribe button so you won't miss the future videos. When I started to build up my credit a couple of years ago, I didn't know where to begin. Luckily, I was able to find these tools through my research and they helped me boost my credit above 800. Now I'm going to talk about those practices and make sure you watch till the end. Let's kick it off. First, get a secured card. Building your credit score from scratch, one of the options is to start with a secured credit card. You apply for a secured card by making a cash deposit upfront. Your credit limit is equal to the amount you deposit. The minimum and maximum amount you can deposit varies by cards and banks. There is usually a minimum deposit of 200 for most of the cards. A secured credit card is a type of credit card that is backed by a cash deposit from the cardholder. The deposit serves as collateral for the account, providing the card issuer with security in case the cardholder is unable to make the payments. The amount pulled down in a deposit becomes your credit limit with a secured credit card. Cardholders will use the card like any other credit card, making payments on or before the due date and incurring interest if they don't pay their balance in full. Once your account is closed, you will receive your deposit back. In fact, if you maintain a positive payment history, secured credit card lenders may increase your credit card limit over time and even offer to upgrade you to an unsecured card. In order to maintain that positive history, you will need to pay off your balances in full each month and, of course, pay on time. Delinquencies will be reported to credit reporting agencies if you have missed your payments, which will hurt your credit score. A secured credit card is meant to build your credit so you can qualify for an unsecured card, one that doesn't require a deposit and offers better benefits. Choose a secured card with a no annual fee and make sure it reports payment data to all three credit bureaus. Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. Information from your credit report builds your credit score. Cards reporting to all three bureaus help you establish a comprehensive credit history. Besides a secured credit card, you can also consider a secured loan for building up your credit history. A credit builder loan is exactly what it sounds like. It is designed to help people build their credit. Typically, when you borrow money, it is held by the lender in an account and not released until you repay the loan. This is a forced saving program, and your payments are reported to credit bureaus. These loans are most often offered by credit unions and community banks. Another option, if you have money on deposit in a bank or credit union, ask them about a secured loan for credit building. With this, the collateral is money in your account or certificate of the deposit. Interest rates are usually higher than the interest you earn on the account, but they are still significantly lower than your other options. The next tool I would like to mention is to to use a co-signer. It's possible to get an unsecured credit card using a co-signer, and you may be able to increase your approval chance by including a co-signer on your credit card application. An approved co-signer is someone with good credit and income who guarantees that your credit card balance will be paid if you default on the loan. Furthermore, make sure the co-signer understands that he or she will be held full responsibility for the amount owned if you fail to pay. Many major credit card issuers don't offer the co-signer option. It might narrow down your choice of the cards. 
If co-signing is not an option, you may want to think about becoming an authorized user. A family member or significant another may be willing to add you as an authorized user on his or her card. A payment history for that card is added to your credit file. So choose someone with a history of on-time payments as the primary user. What's more, being added as an authorized user can reduce the time required to generate the FICO score. It can be especially useful for someone who is just beginning to build credit. You don't have to use a credit card at all in order to benefit from being an authorized user. Find out if the card issuer reports authorized user activities to the credit bureaus by asking the primary card holder. In general, the activity is reported, but you want to be sure, otherwise your credit building efforts could be wasted. Make sure you have a grade on how and whether you will use the card before you are added as an authorized user. And be prepared to pay your share if you decide to do so. Building up a credit history takes time while you need to understand how the credit system works in order to obtain a high score. In the next video, we will talk about how credit score is calculated. If you found this video helpful, please don't hesitate to drop a like button and if you like my channel, kindly click the subscribe button. Let's explore and learn something new every day. Okay guys, I will see you in the next video.